The important point to bear in mind about the Legislative Assembly is that it is the House of Government. It's where the government is formed. We have two Houses of the Parliament. We have a bicameral system. In the case of Victoria, we have the Legislative Assembly, the lower house, the seat of government, and we had the Legislative Council, which is the upper house, um, seen as a house of review. The Parliament represents the people between elections. Its key function is as a lawmaking body, but it does more than just pass bills, pass legislation. Its role, of course, is to scrutinise bills, to debate them. The minister introduces the bill by moving that the bill is read for the first time. The first reading is when the bill is introduced and the assembly is put on notice that the bill is coming to be debated. The second reading of the bill is the time for debate. This usually occurs within a day or two after the bill is introduced. A written speech is tabled in the House by a minister as a full explanation of what the bill intends to do. This second reading speech is used by the courts if there is any dispute regarding what the bill is about once it has become an act of parliament. Judges can refer back to the second reading speech to help them better understand what the minister or the government was trying to achieve when the legislation was passed. A printed copy of the speech and the bill is given to every member of the chamber. After the debate, the bill is normally adjourned for two weeks. It is then taken away by the opposition parties and then talked to the public, stakeholders, and anyone who has a particular interest in that bill. The third reading of the bill incorporates any changes that have been made through the second reading stage. And so the third reading gives an opportunity for the House to formally agree to the final bill. The role of the opposition fundamentally is to hold the government to account. Um, an opposition will, of course, have its own program, its own priorities. It will have gone to the people too. So often it will interpret the government's um, legislative agenda through that prism and seek to pursue changes, seek to um, bring about amendments to propose legislation on that basis. The opposition's role is around scrutinising legislation to make sure that the bill uh, fits with all parts of what the draft uh, legislation discussion had foreshadowed, uh, to improve the bill, offer some suggestions if need be, but mainly to make sure that all the, I, the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and to make sure that the legislation is one that we believe will be acceptable to the state. Its ability, of course, to affect change to propose legislation you know, very much depends on the numbers. It doesn't have the numbers in the lower house. It may have, in sometimes in concert with smaller parties, a capacity to bring about amendments or even block legislation potentially in an upper house.